Okay, I just recently had a subscriber ask me how to make someone disappear from a video. And um, I'm assuming maybe this uh, viewer is going to do something for Halloween or something like that. And so they want uh, a creepy ghost type something disappearing. Um, I'll show you kind of what I've done here. Let me just click on this window, uh, the preview window, program window. I'm going to hit the tilde key so you can see what I've done here. So here's my example. So we've seen this kind of thing done in the movies a lot. Uh, one of the more, I guess, common things that you'd see is, is here the person appears and the person disappears. And what really kind of helps sell a shot like this is the fact that the door is moving. Uh, you know, it's hard, it's, it, it looks more real that the door is, continues its swing as the person disappears, right? And uh, so how did I pull this off? Well, that's super simple. And... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just till, till the back out of this. And I'll show you, like here is, of course, the real piece of video that I shot. And it shows me, uh, first of all, walking through the door and then walking past the camera. And then, of course, I go back over here and uh, over here's where I did the right. I did it a couple times, make sure I did it right. And I opened the door as fast as I could and as wide as I could. Then I got back out of the picture and let it, let it slide, right? So what I did, I did a cut uh, right along in there where I knew that the door would pretty closely match the uh, the, the other angle where I went through, right? So I, I tried to catch it so that the door matches with the other one. So I'm going to delete this all here. I hit a V to get back out of that so I don't have the cut tool anymore. So what I did was was if I if I turn if I were to pull this back out, uh, what I did, I, I found the exact point where those two doors would match in the video, right? I'm going to turn this cross dissolve off that I've put here for a second, get rid of it. So you can see what does happen is it is a it is like one of those blink type things and it's gone. There's a little bit difference in the tone on the wall and all there, but the the the, uh, the shadow and everything, and I could go in and I could color grade that and make it even a little bit more believable, but the cross dissolve almost makes it where it's not noticeable. So what did I do? Went over here to the effects. I, I made sure that the door at this point right here was in the exact same place and so what i did i just i, I just made the cut and i drug it back and forth and experimented until i got this you know i could i could have taken it this far it would have been too far it turned out it was totally believable there at that point and then i got i went over here to the effects uh selector or effects presets place and i typed in c-r-o-s-s for cross dissolve and i brought that on top of this now I don't want this cross dissolve to go beyond the bounds of that, right? I'd rather just go, I'm going to go ahead and pull this back in. I want the cross dissolve to be resolved uh, before we get to the end of this clip that's underneath it. So it's actually it's the same clip, and I start to go away there, and it does sort of sell the picture. It looks like, a, like I've been a ghost that has disappeared. Now, I could also consequently go in there if I wanted to and make myself appear. Uh, I, could have, I could have the door open. I could reverse that. Now that would be kind of a wild thing to do. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on that as well. But for just for a very quick little show you how to disappear, that's how I would pull it off. Uh, more sophisticated ways to do it, but I think to sell the shot, make it look really good, you need something moving besides just the subject. And then, of course, you know, you're gonna. I, I brought up some Lumetri looks here a while ago. What I could do, I could render this out. I could apply a creepy looking Lumetri look to it. I could put some scary music or something under it. I could be a whole lot scarier looking. I could look more like a ghost instead of just a big doof. And then it would actually really look kind of scary and frightening. And of course I could be in somewhere besides just a silly office with scales on top of a, of a uh, <laughs> filing cabinet. But so there you go, folks. That's how I would pull it off. Uh, again, if I tilled into it, that's kind of what you're going to look like. And that doesn't look too bad. It probably does, doesn't help that I've got that tripod there where you see it in that glass as it swings back. I didn't notice that. You see that? There's a little bit of tripod there. Okay, folks. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. Um, you know, if you want a more sophisticated way, there are much more sophisticated ways to do it. But this would be a good start for somebody just trying to do that ghost, um, you know, disappearing type thing for maybe a Halloween video or whatever it is you're trying to do. Uh, subscribe if you have any uh, questions just give me a, an email or a message and I'll try to explain if I've done something here that's unclear thanks bye bye